Little in fact, I drink a lot of tea. If you ever see a mug in the background of one of my videos, there's like a 90% chance there's tea in it. Obviously, I want to share my love of tea with everyone. So uh, I'm making a robot that makes tea for you. Okay, ready? That that is some that is some stirred tea right there. Why did I prototype out of anything but chopsticks and hot glue before? What are scissors besides the poor man's laser cutter? Am I right? Look at this. But uh. Um, but it is generally gonna look like this, and then I wanna have like a little landing spot for where the tea goes. Uh, this is what I have so far. It's I got my battery, my button, my servo motor, and then the little uh, back here. Um, and then when you press this button, it stirs for you. I decided to invite over one of my friends to make tea with. So it's like uh, 9.45 at night. And I was gonna go to bed because my friend's coming over tomorrow to help me film. And I realized something. The stirring robot situation is a little bit funny, but you know what would be even better is if the robot made the tea before it started. Everybody welcome back your favorite robot arm, Armando. Yay! It ends up robot arms are actually pretty useful for a lot of things, even if they're made out of hot glue and only have two points of articulation. Put this here. He does the tea dip and then the tea stir. Mod to something here. I think the trick now is going to be figuring out how to position all this so it actually works. So if uh, anyone is interested, here's my code. Basically, there's a loop. Just kidding, I know nobody cares about this. My love of tea has also led to a lot of people giving me mugs. Welcome to Mug Tour 2K19. <laughs> This is where I keep my mugs. Uh, this is a mug with a city on it. This is a raccoon mug. This is a mug that's a unicorn. This is a mug that's a cat. Also has like a little, little popper in it. This is another cat mug. This is another cat mug. This is a mug that's a D20. It also has money in it. But I'll show you how this works. Load a small amount of sugar into the sugar compartment. Tape tea bag to tea bag dispenser and activate. Look at that oh, flawless execution. That will run for several minutes and then stir your tea. Voila! I made one last addition before my friend comes over tomorrow. I added uh, indicator lights so at least it gets ready now, but when I go to press it, it will be brewing. Oh, we're in the same color shirt. Yeah, we are wearing very similar. Wait. Oh, okay, I got this. <laughs> I saw Frank wearing a gray sweater in a bomber jacket, so I wore a gray sweater in a oh bomber gosh. jacket. Me and Frank met in school, and have been best friends ever since. Just kidding, I haven't seen you in like three months. <laughs> Oh wow. Let me give you the tour. This is um Terry, the tea bot. Let me let me give you let me give you make you some tea. Let me. You know, you're you're my house, you're your visitor. I wanna I wanna make you a fine a fine drink. There's hair attached to this. So press press the button. Is it this big black button? Yeah, press it. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh my god. It does stir it. Take the house have some tea. Hey, that's pretty good. Oh no. The cup's too tall this time. It yeah. can help it out a little bit. There you go. We need to be stirred more. <laughs> <laughs> Would you name your tea, your tea experience out of 10? Out of 10? Quality, uh, probably a six. Performance value is definitely a nine out of 10 mm -hmm. because that's very entertaining to watch. This is like, instead of having a coffee machine, I just have this in my kitchen. Like, would you like tea? Okay, there you go. 
This is fun to use and make tea with, but it's also a lot funner if you use it with a friend. <laughs> Basically, I built like half of this at 9 o'clock at night last night. So I'm like, oh man, Frank's coming over. I gotta really impress him.